done indeed. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Ooh, I think it's crafting versus uh, Rossi. Oh, yeah, probably. What's, what's his full tag? Full tag. Uh... Rossi Dragon Dreamboat. Rusty Dragon Dream, but try, try that, that's how, that sounds like uh, like one of the uh, tongue twisters. Yeah. Rusty Dragon Dream, bro. Rusty Dragon Dream, bro. <laughs> um, I've been talking to him quite a bit. I I think uh, he like Rossi is very. How do I say? It? It's pretty hard to like put into words. But he's someone who I think has a lot of potential. Um, playing a very uncommon character and doing like some very interesting stuff with him. I mean, yeah, Sylvanas is uh, not really just like just like Eliana, not the most seen character. Yeah, in that definitely. So I'm interested to see how. Uh, but Crafton has given me lots of trouble in the past. Uh, he has a really awkward playstyle. Um, <laughs> it's pretty linear, but the way he executed is extremely consistent and hard. To uh, um, and I think that's what makes him a very strong, like, just consistent. Yeah. Consistency is very, very uh, good to have. Yeah. Ooh, back in. Of course. The classic, just people dying the back air really awkwardly and dying at, like, yeah. 80. But you can Yo, see, like, just so many clones, like, just back up clone. Man. And then he's recovering. Oh, I can spawn a clone and then, like punish him with that. I mean, yeah. You know what they say? Of course, it works. Exactly. A little bit of a weird time to use a CD there, but like, hey, I'm not the Savannah player. It's kind of it's it's really kind of feel hard. Uh, I feel it's pretty hard to like commentate a match like this, because like, what's the, what's the Savannah supposed to do? Like I don't know. He almost caught him with the seat right there. It gets him up there really good. Yeah, he evens it up nice. Good stuff, good stuff. But yeah, like uh, I think as the Silvano is here, you might like want to try to play the the because I uh, with like the with the hitbox the Silvanos have, you might want to try to play like the hitbox game. Like for one, I'm seeing uh, a good deal of neutral airs and not a lot of forward airs. Yeah, I, I do agree that he should be using more forward air. Yeah, forward air is a great move. It, it has a great hitbox and it should definitely be used more, especially in this matchup. Yeah. It's it combos into a ton of stuff. Uh, it carries off stage, builds off stage, combos into down air. Um, yeah. You know, good, good, pretty good move, you could say. Pretty good yeah, move. Just, just, good, just, just good in general. It's one of the better tools Silvanos has. Yeah. And also down tilt, because yes. like Force, Force Burn likes using cape, but I do. I'm pretty sure the down tilt uh, just outranges it. It does. By a it does. Bit. Yeah. Um. I can't say for sure because I played neither of these. Or rather, I tried. I tried to play all the characters, but I don't actually play everyone at the competitive level. I'm not the uh, slime. Um. Yeah, no, it should be. Uh, it, uh, well, Dante should arrange my cape. I'm very really surprised if it doesn't. Um, but I have lost that interaction many times. Where like, oh, I can get <laughs> if you and he's like, no, I'm just gonna sit here and down. Uh, and he like, the Savannos will always win. Yeah. Fark, fark. Let's see. He needs to get something to Ooh. go here. He's not really capitalizing off of uh, getting Crafton off stage. Yeah. But, like, he's kind of just letting him back on stage, and this is what happens when you let Crafton back on stage. Just very strong ground control, decent combos, just. Yeah. Doing it all. And then your stock is just suddenly gone. Yeah, because what like what what you can see here is like once Crafton gets uh gets Dragon off stage, then he just uh like he keeps them off stage for like at least a couple of percentage before uh before you get back. And yeah. The thing is, I haven't really seen Crafton like Crafton hasn't been getting punished. He hasn't like even had to try recovery mix-ups because he kind of just jumps back. Yeah. And also nice way. Yeah, this is uh, this is gonna require a little bit of uh, adaptation. adaptation. 
and also just general, uh, like general control. Because like right now, Crafton is one hundred percent control in this game. Yes. Like um, he can just do whatever he wants right now. I, I also think this has to do with the uh, counter pick because I have to disagree with this counter pretty heavily. Yeah. Um, in this matchup specifically, Savannah wants a bit of space. Uh, simply to be able to actually use forward air, uh, uh, you know, like down tilt property. Um, yeah. and, and, and this, like, map, that's pretty hard. Um, like, it can go both ways, where, like, the, the, the forest burn feels really, like, stuffed and can't move. But, like, Kraft is pretty confident. He just, like, he isn't getting hit that much by, like, stray hits. So I would definitely pick a large stage. Yeah. Like, right here, when you can see the picks, I, like, I, I do not, uh, I would, like, recommend playing a bigger stage, like, placing Hideout, maybe Fire Capital, uh, like, the, the bigger stages, so you have, you have place, you have, you have a lot of space to put out your flowers wherever you feel like it, and you have, like, you have enough range to where you can play, uh, Sylvanas' ranges without yeah. having up in your face especially like with the uh, with treetop when a force burn has that nice upper platform that he can just like uh run off and down air from it is so scary dude yeah but so far tempest has been working a lot better yes uh he lost his stage uh i mean probably Rossi... the only person yeah i uh he just says like oh it's so funny like uh and like i do that too. yeah i think it's a decent I think it's a decent stage for Um But I still like, you know, just 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 go fire capital. Yeah. Like some sometimes I know you like a stage, but like sometimes you should be uh, you should be thinking a little bit about like what stages should you be playing too, not only Oh that cool yeah. Modio, nice. But yeah, that de definitely should be uh, looking a little bit into how to like punish the different recovery options that Forceburn has. Yeah. Because again, if Kraven just gets back on stage for close to free while well, you have to take damage for it, then you die before he does. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He has been doing a good job of like keeping him away from mid center stage right now, though, like most yes. of the game. Which is very, very, Which very is good, that's what you want. Ooh, he almost got a really cheeky uh, back air, but like sadly, Croft not quite falling into it. And now in a really bad position, just taking on like 70%, closing the gap pretty quickly. Indeed, he had such a nice gap when uh, this all stocked again. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, nice! Ah, I love seeing back air hit. It's not, it's not very, very common. Always feels good. I just, it, yeah, it's just, it's just very, very much a feel good move. That's a good read. Yes, about better DI. Ah, oh, I love when people actually survive the down smash. <laughs> just so often when the DI hard in and then they died like like 30% too early. But up the F smash is gonna pick that up. And that's one of the main reasons why I think this stage is bad. Yeah. Um Four Spread has a really easy time killing Savanos to the sides here. So if Kraft Kraft was a bit more comfortable with shaining back airs, which I don't see him. Uh, just specifically here, uh, the Savannah, uh, the Savannahs can just die super early. True, true. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit, bit skeptical to the stage choices. But he's, you know, he, he's kind of making work. It's still pretty even. There we go. Now it's even. Yeah. Um, so, you know, sometimes may, having just a comfort pick isn't a bad choices. Ooh. That seems like a miss input, and that's just something that yeah. happens a lot on the stage too, because it's silly. <laughs> <sighs> oh, almost got the back. <sighs> oh, not dead yet. Now ah, he's dead. Though. There he yeah. goes. Yeah, down there's really close. Three 